person, and I'm a digital cinematography student at Full Sail. Horror, not only used in movies, but horror's origins can be traced back to Horace Walpole's 1764 novel, The Castle of Otranto. Horace's gothic style of writing led to shocks and scares on every page. Another writer, known as Edgar Allan Poe, helped lay the foundation for the horror genre. With his dark settings and grotesque characters, he left readers with a vivid image in their minds. In the 1920s, silent films started showing up, and with them also came silent horror films. Many of these films looked to European legends and folklore for their stories. 1919, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, also known as the granddaddy of all horror films, gave us a trip inside the mind of a madman. The narrator takes us through this story of murder and mystery, in the way he envisions it, twisted. 1922, Nosferatu is the very first movie of its kind, a vampire movie. Makeup transformed the actor into a disfigured bloodsucker who latches onto his helpless victims. Many different techniques were used in this movie such as lighting and shadows for effects, and stop motion. Taking the story from Bram Stoker's stage play Dracula and changing the characters' names led to legal trouble for the director. But for its time, Nosferatu's use of makeup and effects had the vampire's face and actions imprinted in your mind. Moving to the 1930s, horror movies seemed to have been reborn with the addition of sound. Not only was sound a big thing, but so were creatures. 1931, unlike Nosferatu, Dracula, played by Lugosi, resembles a human more and not a feral creature. With sound, Lugosi's evil laugh cannot be unheard. Also in 1931, Frankenstein was released on screen. The name of the film came from an obsessed scientist who creates artificial life that terrorizes the countryside due to being mistreated by society as a whole. In the 1960s, horror movies turned from creatures to actual people with Alfred Hitchcock's movie, Psycho. This movie presented the audience with a normal man and at the end really showed his true colors. A big movie that was released was The Exorcist in 1973. This movie has been voted scariest movie of all time. This is not your normal horror film. With little to no humor in it, this movie takes the subject horror 100% seriously. With its amazing special effects for its time and the bone chilling music, this movie is a definite horror classic. While a couple horror movies have broken away from the original horror mold, many stick to it. But for today's modern movies, we can only begin to imagine what the killer will do next, what monsters lurk in the dark, and what demons will haunt our nightmares.